my dad wanted me to become a doctor, actually. I wasn't certain if I wanted to become a neurobiologist or if I wanted to become a physician. And I found that I loved working with patients a lot more than sitting in a lab. I'm here to help patients succeed. The way that I try to do it is really through education. Uh, the more that I can educate patients as to why we recommend what we recommend, I think there's more buy-in on the parts of the patients. And so when they succeed, they succeed because of their hard effort, and, uh, and it's fun to partner with them to be able to, to see those changes come about. It, it's not about the surgery, right? The surgery is a tool. It's the team that comes together to help the patients be successful but the key member of that team is the patient. And so I call them the captain and they get to decide, you know, how they're gonna um, use the team. And really, really good captains will use the entire team and they'll be very successful. Uh, captains who don't do so successfully are the ones who think they're gonna do it on their own. The greatest compliment I ever get is when a patient says that they wish they would have had surgery 20 years ago um, or, or years earlier or, or whatever, however they term it because what that says to me is that they're happy. And I have two goals with patients. It's always their safety and it's always their happiness. I try not to call it weight loss surgery because the, 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 the problem we have isn't with weight. It's a fat issue. Patients have too much fat and that fat, there's actually good fat and bad fat, and it's the bad fat that we're trying to get rid of. So this is really metabolic surgery. And the two that we offer here are vertical sleeve gastrectomy where we're taking out about 75 to 80% of their stomach. And the other is a ruin wide gastric bypass where we're rerouting food around the stomach. And both of them actually work very similar. There's a restrictive component where patients can't eat as much. But there's also these hormonal changes that take place and we start to see the inflammatory state decrease and then we see people, um, their hunger goes down, their cravings change from carbohydrate rich diet to a protein based diet and their metabolism goes up and it's just amazing to me like they have all this energy and, and literally they'll tell me three months after surgery that they feel 20 years younger. And, Sometimes I'm jealous. I'm like, man, I'd like to feel 20 years younger. We're here to help the patient, but we're really here to, to give them hope. I'm Paul Kemeter. I'm the medical director of the Bariatric Surgery Program at UP Health System in Marquette.